Kalamazoo is a city bursting at the seams with art, and this season's artists were asked why the community should support the arts. Let's hear what they had to say. A lot of times, artists don't talk about the economic benefits of having artists in your community, but I've seen the downtown grow, and it's grown in part due to the arts being such a, a lively um, experience in, in living in Kalamazoo. Art is whatever it is, dance, music, uh, visual arts, it's the soul of a community. And without that, I think a community can become very cold and uh, not have as much depth. So I think it's important, and Kalamazoo does a great job yes. of supporting the arts. I mean, to watch the growth in that area is incredible over the years. I believe that it's healthy. It's healthy for the individual, it's healthy for our youth, it's healthy for a inclusion of diverse amounts of people, getting them in rooms that they normally wouldn't be in together, mm -hmm. starting conversations, hopefully with the content. Um, and again, healthy individuals make a healthy community. And a community is, any healthy community is just unified. So I think it's social and ethical. Oh, well, that's part of the reason I moved to Kalamazoo. Uh, there's a lot of culture here, there's a lot going on. Having accessibility to art is just, one of the biggest indicators of the livability of a city. It improves people's lives, whether they realize it or not. Um, and when we can spend time with art and spend time talking to people about art, um, it's food for the soul. Why support the arts in Kalamazoo? Man, oh, wow, that's a, that's a loaded question. That really is. Well, Kalamazoo is special to me. I love Kalamazoo. Love, love, love Kalamazoo. So, for kind of personal allegory, I've seen myself process trauma and tragedy through art. Like it's really transformed the way I look at the world because of the way in which I've been able to express myself. You know, and I, I think I think that's why you need to support the arts because it's 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 invigorating, it's it's rejuvenating. Like there's just a quality about art, whether it be music or poetry or you know, um, visual arts that is, is relatable with human beings. It was shortly after Michael Brown was killed that I found Put Up or Shut Up, which was at a place called The Mix, um, and now it's at Blaze Hookah. But um, Put Up or Shut Up was something that was so, so special as far as all of the artists that were there just trying to get started maybe, um, and we supported each other. It was, it's a lifestyle, it's like a culture that we support each other, we support local art, um, because if no one else is gonna support us, we're gonna support each other. And I, I, it spoke to me so deeply just to see it in action that there was no way I couldn't support. There's no way that I can not show up for your show, not show up and buy a CD or a book. There's no way, um, because as an artist myself, you gotta give support to get support. Oh, Kalamazoo is a hotbed of the arts. Um, it's the reason I moved here in 2009. I don't know of any other place I've lived where the downtown, there aren't boarded up storefronts, you know. And musicians support each other. I know poets support each other, painters support each other. You know, attendance at galleries is fantastic. Attendance at live music events is fantastic. Um, it's a great place to live for an artist. One of my favorite quotes, I can't think of who said it, was uh, art should disturb the comfortable and comfort the disturbed. I feel like the word like flavor, flavorful, like when you, when you have a community that has a flavor of many different things to try, that's a thriving community. And um, I think the arts in general are very important with the development of, and the growth. You learn from shows that you see. You get educated, yeah. you know, about someone else's life and their perspective on the world. And I think that's why it's so important. Kalamazoo is amazing. The artistry here, oh man, so much art in Kalamazoo. Um, it's, it's great. We have to support the art that's here. I, I can't imagine calling yourself a city without art. We have to know that um, it's that human creativity that gives us hope. Mm -hmm. And I think in a world we need hope, and um, certainly now, and uh, have in the past and in the future. So the arts contribute to that. 
and it opens people. It does cause a dialogue. It helps the economy. We, I mean, I have, like, for instance, if I bring in uh, Vienna Choir Boys or Bela Fleck or whatever, I have people from seven different states coming in and they stay in our hotels and they go to our restaurants. And so it, it, it's, it's a win-win for everyone. The arts are like the most <laughs> important thing for me like in my life. Um, it really gives me a sense of purpose, like a reason to get up in the morning and like a re that gives my life meaning. Um, and I think for many people, like if you don't get the opportunity, like I was really lucky to ha have those opportunities to discover that. Yeah. And yeah, if people don't, then they might like never get, and that's really sad to think about. We are, we are not mathematical wizards or scientific geniuses or historical folks. But what we are is we have a compassion for each other and the way we express compassion and love and care for others is through the arts. And without that, we are less human. And that's why we need to support it in Kalamazoo. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.